There we go. Match is going to be starting, and here we go. Game three of Penn State and Indiana. The Big Ten matchup in eSports. Probably, actually, this might be the first time a Big Ten matchup has ever happened in eSports in general. I, I can't think of any, like, League of Legends games that I've seen between uh, two Big Ten games. I'm sure it's happened in CSGO, though, with a lot of those collegiate tournaments going around, though. But at least in Heroes of the Storm, this is the first Big Ten matchup. Alright, here we are loading in. Penn State back in their own colors of blue. Indiana back on the red side. Penn State fielding Zagara, Diablo, Jaina, Tyranda, and Malfurion. Oh, are we gonna see? We're gonna see a smiley face battle. Indiana fielding Rhaegar, Vala, Sylvanas, Tassadar, and ETC. Ten seconds. Five, four. It's gonna be three, pretty interesting to see. Two, and four. here comes the game. We are going to see a battle Let right around begin. here. <laughs> this is gonna be an intense fight. We do see oh. Wilted separating from his team. While Penn State gets there pretty early. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to be able to see it. This is actually a pretty interesting idea. But mm -hmm. uh, there's pings coming down. I wonder if Penn State saw that. Yep. Well, Buck Nasty down in the bot lane all by his lonesome. Just waiting to do what Sylvanas does best. Split push. Oh, and here comes Synth on Zagara to... Deal with that. Who basically also loves the split push. Mm hmm So it's gonna we're gonna have basically we have no one in the mid lane for uh for Indiana right now, so that's gonna be a good amount of experience for Penn State. Mm -hmm. But um they quickly go there for the doubloon fight. And uh Indiana is gonna get the first two doubloons. No, actually no, Diablo got one in a big fight's gonna come down, a lot of damage going down. Father Kimchi on that Diablo tanking up a lot of edge, but he was able to pick up that doubloon. But Indiana got the other three. Four. Well, four, yeah. It's yep. The first one they got as well. That's true. That's true. And now everybody's rolling back down for that other chest full of doubloons. Almost made the first move, but here comes Indiana. They decided to take it. And uh, Diablo not able to get it, but he's going to go in on a Graze Robber. That's going to be a lot of damage going down. And Sylvan, or that was Vala, my bad, is going to be taken down right away. You do see Rhaegar there running away with five coins in his pocket, but not going to be taken down just yet. Nope. That was a beautiful Diablo flip directly onto a Tyranda stun. Great job there by Penn State to pick up the first kill of the game, and they're going to have a very, very slight experience advantage. Actually, it went up a little bit. Once they leveled up, they seem to get a lot of experience from somewhere. Tyrande and Diablo just floating around in the middle of the map, clearing out some of the doubloon camps right now. Penn State currently has five coins. Indiana's got seven hold up. Oh, Jaina, I don't think you want to be there. She's noticed something was wrong. Good job by uh, Talrak right there to not get caught out. But she's trying to defend the camp, but she's not going to be able to take anything. That is now nine, co or that's 11 now coins for Indiana. They have enough to cash in. Yep. Nine of those Rhaegar's coins. Got nine yeah. Coins. Oh boy. No, Diablo's got six. It's Rand and Diablo taking uh, blue side siege camp. Oh, Rhaegar is starting red side bruisers. Indiana taking the early bruisers camp. Oh my. Yeah, we also see just about even. Wow. Interesting. We are seeing Pense pick up siege while they're doing this. So that's going to be a lot quicker, but. They are going to be able to take out the bruises right now, and I wonder if they're going to give Rhaegar all... Uh, they're going to give him the coins. Yeah, Rhaegar now has 11 coins. Rhaegar, guys, has money in the bank. But um, they have to protect him. They cannot allow... If Rhaegar, if Rhaegar, if Rhaegar drops in the next fight, it could be pretty bad. It surprises me that Rhaegar has not actually paid up the balloons yet. It must be really hard to. I, I can't see... With um, does with creep, do you get sight? I do not recall. I know in I know in Starcraft you do, but in Here's the Storm, do you? And wow, wow, they're actually going for bruisers in the bot lane. 
They actually might take this. Holy crap. What a move by Penn State. And now there are 11 coins for Penn State. Both teams can cash in. And I feel like mm -hmm. Penn State has more, at least the bot lane pressure, in order to safely uh, cash in. Mm -hmm. And oh, Rhaegar, Rhaegar, gets Rhaegar is trying to uh, cash in, but it's going to be really tough for him to do so. And Penn yep. State is actually going to start cashing in. They might be able to take this. Bala, his, her bouncing uh, arrow is not, or hungering arrow, I believe it's called, is not going to be able to take it, but she is going to stop Diablo. From uh, from getting um, the cash in, but while this is going on, Indiana is going to take more doubloons. But Penn State does get that early uh, early cannons. Sylvanas staying down the bot lane, pushing with those siege giants and a full wave. Oh, this is not going to be good. Zagara's coming down to handle that. And it basically has to right now, and Sylvanas is just going to back off as well. She did a good amount of damage. Um, Almost the gate being destroyed. But uh, you see Tassa there just shielding as much as he can from that fort. Yep. And uh, the fort is actually going to survive. Mm -hmm. Rhaegar running straight down Ooh. to drop off the balloons. They get that uncontested. Yeah, that's going to be an uncontested mm -hmm. cannon for them now, and they still have a huge doubloon lead, about 10 doubloons ahead of them. They can cash in again once yes. this is over. Rhaegar, Rhaegar still holding most of the money. Six coins still on him. Oh, that's a 16 total this game so far. Yep. Oh boy, we might be seeing, uh, oh no, never mind, ETC was just checking to see if Penn State was trying to take that Grave Golem Raid boss Oh, that would have been crazy if anybody went to that boss already. But Indiana right now having a slight experience advantage, which is big at level 9, because that means that's so much closer to your level 10 heroic abilities. Mm -hmm. And Penn State has to make sure that they don't allow anybody else to cash in, and they already have two people there to make sure... And uh, Diablo holding seven coins is going to cash in, and no one else has coins. Unfortunately, right now, Penn State does not have anyone in lane soaking up experience, so Indiana's just letting their experience lead grow, and they are hitting 10. They've got a level, they've got their heroics. Yeah, that's going to be another cannon for them. I can't see Penn State uh, trying to defend and stop them from cashing in. Now Penn Furian seems like he wants to try. Time. No, he, there's no way he can, though. So they, they cannot stop this fight here, because they, they do not have heroic abilities. Actually, they stopped the doubloons going in, so good job by Penn State to delay it. But they need experience, and they're not going to get any by standing here. Nope. ETC is going to jump in, but he goes the wrong way. He's not going to get anything going that way. But because of that, he's able to uh, get his team to start putting more doubloons in. But as we see this, Penn State gets to level 10. They can start a fight going on now. And we see the Cigar all oh, going to catch Grave Robber. That is now going to be a 5 on 4. Grave Robber is not where he wants to be. And that's going to be a lot of damage going down. Bala is going to go down immediately. And not a lot of damage going to come in now from Indiana. And now Penn State is going to take that very slight experience lead. It was a good move on Penn State's part. They timed that well. Excellently dropped Zagara ult. Now Indiana's moving up, taking out their own bruiser camp again. Gonna grab up those coins. While Penn State is actually taking their Dumbaloon camp and Indiana's siege camp. Penn State needs one more coin overall to be able to cash in. Looks like in return they're going to grab their doubloon camp in the bot side and their siege camp. However, they need to get top side. Bruisers are pushing. Rhaegar's, Rhaegar's got can... 10 coins again. Rhaegar's just rolling in the money right now. But uh, Penn State is actually going to go for uh, the cannons and... Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to get it. Oh, there's a pause going down. Lag, okay. There's been lag on Penn State's side. 
So, um... We're gonna wait for a bit to see if this settles down, but wow, amazing cat, amazing. Um, I was like casting. Wow, amazing game so far. Uh, we have just passed 300 viewers, which is crazy. Thank you guys so oh much for goodness. watching us. It really means you a lot. Rock. But um, this game is just going back and forth, and it seems like they're going to be going back in. So, thanks guys for watching, and there's going to be more coming in in a couple seconds think there we go we're doing the countdown right now oh and i'm getting we're getting yelled at by chat for never playing hot never played hots before i played we're sorry, hots we're, we're sorry guys we're scrubs we played hots the creep does hey, give sight we will we will, it doesn't it does it does okay so it's just like starcraft okay yes I just haven't played a lot of different champs. I've probably played only like seven, or seven to ten champs. Heroes. You guys, you guys gotta cut us some slack. Come on. There's love, right? Yeah. No, I'm sad. Speaking of love, freaking Rhaegar with 13 coins. He would be <laughs> able to just. Oh, I think he has a full cash in, right? It's 12, right? It's 12 right now for them. Oh my God! This is just oh, all. He's gonna have He's gonna have eight left over, or no, he's gonna have like five left over Six then. left over. Six, that's right, you're right, my math is horrible. That's okay, that's what I'm here for. That's yeah, that's oh. ten. But he's gonna get it, no one's gonna get catch out. They were just a little too late, and jeez, this game is going back and forth. It's coming back from the la the first game as well, where everything was back and forth. Two kills for Penn State, zero kills for Indiana, and I don't, has... Oh, there's actually, is that the second fort? Yeah, there's two forts now down for Indiana. Well, Indiana Penn took State. down two forts. Penn State took down one so far. Alright, both teams are rolling bot lane, it looks like. Penn State backing off. Surprisingly, nobody has yet to go for the boss. Ooh, Zagar though, might be caught out. He's gonna jump in, that's a lot of damage. And the ult, good ult coming down by Zagara, but sadly, not going to be enough. She is going to go down. Mm-hmm. Well, and that Sylvanas just stopping that keep from being able to do anything for them whatsoever. Indiana now taking a little bit of a lead, almost a full, actually about a full level advantage, and the siege camp that Penn State got meant absolutely nothing. And they, they have to just defend this uh, chest right now and not allow Indiana to cash in. Mostly not allow Rhaegar to cash in. But actually, no, Tassar now with the, is the big money roller in uh, for Indiana. But just him and Rhaegar alone can cash in. And, the, and ETC there is going to stop everybody. Vala ult going to come down. Jane is down. And that's a lot of damage coming in onto Penn State. Diablo is going to go down as well. And now that's going to be a 2 for 0 already. And Penn State is going to get out with three members left alive. But that is going to be more doubloons going in, being cashed in, more cannons going to Penn State's uh, structures. It looks like Indiana's eyeing up Penn State's bruiser camp. Either that or they're going to try and catch out all of you and Chilla. Looks like your enemies are paid up. Fire, you blackguard! The fight's going on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that's actually the bruiser camp. I got really excited for a bruiser camp going on. But they are actually stealing Penn State's Bruiser Camp, which is huge because that just means that they get even more doubloons. And the fact that they just have so much uh, pressure right now is making sure that they get as many cannon shots as possible. And Penn State now getting close to two levels down. I right, said so again, we are now at 430 viewers. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. It really means a lot. Wow. A couple hours ago, we had 100. Now we've got over 400. Yeah, a couple hours ago, we had 30. <laughs> that's that's. We had 50, guys. I believe. But hey, thanks for Penn State. Thanks for Indiana teams for allowing us to cast these games. It really means a lot. And it's going to be really tough for Penn State, though. They are... A level and a half behind. Winner of this moves on to the final 16, which then I believe start gets streamed by Penn State and, or not by Penn State, by ESPN. 
So, Penn State, again, desperately have to defend this. But we just see uh, Indiana just making sure that they get as many doubloons as possible. Diablo's going to seal them. Diablo's going to go in. They're actually going to start a fight. He's going to throw Kaze back into the fight. But here comes Bala. Dealing a lot of damage. Bala's just unstoppable right now. Diablo's going to go down. And the heal onto Bala. They did so much damage to him. But now he's full health again. Bala is going to just decimate these team fights. ETC is going to be in the back line. He is going to have to do a lot. Cigar Alt goes on to one person. It was just Tassadar. And now there's only four people left up for Penn State. It's now a 5v4. Diablo is back in the fight. He was really low earlier, or died. I forget which happened earlier, but he is he back in the die, fight. And then respawned right quick like thanks to his trade. Alright. Indiana's turning in. There's gonna be another more, even more cannon shots. It's probably gonna put him. Around two levels be two levels ahead. It's gonna be really, really tough for Penn State now. Your enemy has it out for you. Penn State. They're losing their keep. Oof. Yep. First keep of the game. 14 minutes and 13 seconds. We now have a fight for the raid boss going on, and it just ETC right there just taking it all back up. Mm-hmm. Indiana starting that boss. Penn State needs to get up there and do something about it. They cannot let Indiana get a free boss. Well then, who's got the coin for me services? <laughs> do they have enough? They are going to have enough for another wave of cannons. They have just enough. They basically control the last four cannons. Mm-hmm. Penn Unfortunately, State. the same thing is happening this game as happened last game. Indiana, for Penn State at least, Indiana is controlling all of the Merc camps. Penn State does not seem to have the map awareness or the situational decision making that Indiana is showing right now. And they and are Indiana going to go back using, on the boss. Yep. Indiana is using every little misstep that Penn State makes to take that advantage and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Yep. Penn State has no clue where they are. And now they will finally realize that the boss has just been taken. And mm -hmm. okay, they got a fort out of it. That's that's something. Congratulations. Two forts, Penn State. Good job, guys. Alright, this... somebody's gonna have to go up and stop that uh, grave golem. They cannot leave that loose. They're actually oh. mostly, mostly going for coins not being sent in, but the Grave Golem, well, yeah, you're right, is just decimating the base of Penn State. They feel too worried, though, about the cannons going off. Eh, they're going to lose a keep if they don't send somebody up there. Jane is on her way. All right, Indiana grouping up to turn in coins. They know that Penn State doesn't have enough people there to stop it. Blue team's core be under attack. Yeah, the core is now being attacked by the Grave Golem. This is not looking good. Malfurion now also getting down really low, but the fight might turn around. Here comes the old Scar Alt's going to go on a one Grave Robber. He's going to be taking down a good ult from Diablo, though. Chugging people down. You see ETC in the background. Ball is ulting right now, just dealing a lot of damage. She's extremely low. Actually, no, she's half health. Well, Diablo was really low. He's going to go down, but a lot of people are really low for Indiana, but a lot of heals are going to come in from that Rhaegar, and a one for nothing right now, and they yet cannot cash in. Penn State has at least defended long enough, but oh, they got to kill on the ETC. There's a lot of gold, but it goes right to Rhaegar. Rhaegar has 15 coins right now, and they're going to have to try to keep going, but they can't. Can Penn State cash in? They do not have enough. They are down by one coin. And there it is. Jaina has it. <laughs> Chests have come up. Indiana's regrouping. I wouldn't be surprised to see Indiana go for Penn State's bruiser camp again once they wrap up this chest. Let's get to the fun part! 
Looks like your whole beat you. They're going for their own and uh, delaying that chest taking, surprisingly. Oh, is this gonna they're survive? They're giving Rhaegar. They're giving Rhaegar. Oh, they're not giving him all the coins. That's <laughs> sad. <laughs> but a That's smart a thing to do, me. though. He's already got 16 on him. Two more won't hurt. <laughs> Two more will let him cap alone, but I don't think they really need that right now. Oh, Wilted. Wilted has to have had over 30 or 40 coins this game. Doesn't it show it anymore? It used to show uh, stuff like that. How many you it did used to show it. It might show it at the end, but it does not anymore uh, on the uh, score screen currently. We'll see what Pensei decides to do. They have actually taken 6% of damage in uh, onto their core. They only have one keep up. We have we do see those knights coming up into the top lane, so they're going to have to defend against that. And they also kind of have to defend against uh, against the coins being brought in. They have a lot they defend against because if coins get cashed in, it could cause it to be game. Mm -hmm. And there we go. We do see Indiana start up the coins and Penn State. Yep. Can't really do it. And all oh, here is Rhaegar with the 16 coins. Can he cash them all in? He's no, he cancels it. And Diablo, here comes Diablo going in, and here comes the fight. This is gonna be the fight to cause to stop everything. But Diablo is gonna be really low. Diablo's actually gonna drop. Follow right there is untouched. His ulti away. The all from Zagar is gonna miss everybody. This is not looking good for Penn State as Tassar there is shielding people and making a heal. Now Furin's gonna go down and this is not looking good at all. Zagar is gonna soon drop as well. There goes Tyranda as uh oh, there goes Jaina as the only one remaining. And this is gonna be game. It's gonna be Indiana moving on to the final 16. This has been just a great series of matches to watch, guys. Both teams have played very well. Congratulations to Indiana. Uh, consolations to Penn State Blue. Let's see how things go from here. Good games, guys. Yeah, it was amazing games all around. All three were just impressive to watch. But man, what close games. Such a shame that these two teams fought fought in the in like the second round basically.